Welcome to Complexity Made Simple. My name is Paul Allen and the subject of today's video newsletter, well, we're going to answer a question from Sadiq who left a comment on one of my videos about planning a designed experiment. And what Sadiq asks me about is multiple outputs. How do you optimize multiple outputs in a DOE? Because he's only ever worked with single outputs. So let's take a look here at multiple output DOEs. Now I've got to be honest with you Sadiq, when I teach design of experiments and if anybody wants me to come to their company and teach DOE then please leave me a message I'm happy to turn up a two three day course to teach you design of experiments um, I use a, a little bit of software a little simulation package that just generates results for us very quickly so we can get on and do the analysis and most of the exercises that I get the class to do are single output DOEs single responses simply to keep the situation easy to understand so later on I do occasionally show them uh, there is a, an example I'm going to show you of a multiple response output but I usually get them to practice on single output DOEs but what we are talking about here is a process so you have your your process here your money-making process and what Sadiq's talking about is something like this. So we have three, let's say we have three inputs, time, temperature, pressure, we'll even put a design space on this, I think we'll go time, five to 10 seconds, temperature, 70 to 90 degrees, pressure, 100, 200 PSI so they're the three inputs and uh, we could be making some material and maybe we're interested in multiple responses hardness uh, maybe uh, tensile tensile strength and maybe sheer strength perhaps. So three inputs, three outputs. Now Sadiq, the, the software that I use is DOE Pro. That's the software that I'm using. You can get it from um, Sigma Zone. Com. You can actually get a free five day license if you want to just uh, drop it on your computer and have a little play around with it. But uh, you can get it on Sigma Zone. DOE Pro is what I use. And so, what I'm going to show you is how DOE Pro does this. Um, but Minitab will do this. So, if you use Minitab, it's a slightly different technique in Minitab. Um, effectively in Minitab you can put as many responses in the data table as you wish you just have to tell the computer where the where the response data is uh, in the computer but if you do that it will generate multiple models and it will try and optimize and find a sweet spot because that's the problem with this type of DOE of course what you're trying to find is is there a sweet spot where I can hit all the targets all at the same time. So here's my software. Look, so we're going to go and have a quick look at DOE Pro. And if I if I set up this exact DOE here, I'm just going to do a two level. So we're going to do a simple two level full factorial. And I'm just going to set it up with three inputs and three outputs and you'll see how the software does this so if I go to DOE Pro go to computer-aided design you can see it here um, 
and on the menu here look there is only one choice when I have three factors three inputs uh, at two levels there is only one choice and that's the full factorial so if I select that it then asks me for the three factors time temperature and pressure I'll put those in now look so time at 5 and 10 temperature at 70 and 90 and pressure at 100 and 200 so I put those in and I click next and it then says to me look how many responses do you have so and how many replicates would you like so this is the sample size so where it says how many responses do you have if I drop the menu down look I can now change that from one response to three responses then I can click next and it then says to me what are the three responses called and of course I can then call them hardness tensile and shear so if I put those three titles in the three response boxes press complete and then look now what I've got is the DOE table and if you look at the bottom of the Excel file there are three tables empty waiting for the data to be collected and the DOE to be done okay so that's how DOE Pro sets the experiment up in the first place now what I've got here is a little example from my simulator so I've got a little design example it's actually got four inputs and three outputs so you can see here look here's the here's the DOE table it's a 16 run full factorial and I have three tables of data I have a table of data with design cost in it I have a table of data with rib compression in it and I have a table of data with triaxial acceleration in it so this little simulation is about design in a car and we're trying to make sure that the crash test dummy doesn't get damaged when the car is crashed but also the cost of the design is reasonable so that the customer actually wants to buy the car so we have four inputs we have three outputs now when I press regression what I get is three models side by side you can see the three models here now obviously what I have to do is regress these down so that the models are telling me the truth I have to only have good p-values uh, of terms that are left in the model now I've already done that so I'm just going to click to that uh, that version you can see that I've got uh, the the three models now regressed down one for design cost one for rib compression one for triaxial now what I'm going to do is go to the optimizer function in my software and it says actually it's called a multiple response optimizer so if I click into this and I'm gonna I'm gonna click through parts of it just to show you how the optimizer works I'm just gonna click straight to the point where I ask it to hit the three targets so in this window look I get the opportunity at the moment it says design cost in the little drop down menu that you can see here so for the design cost it needs to be less than 300 pound so if I go less than then I type in 300 and hit add constraint it goes into the window then I drop the window down and I get rib compression and I put less than 11 add constraint then I drop triaxial and I put less than 15 add constraint because they are the three requests that I'm looking for less than 300 less than 11 less than 15 and then I hit optimize and you can see look that the computer has come back 
and it's saying because it's saying 50 out of 50 in other words it's hit exactly what I asked it to do it's now saying I can hit all three of those targets if I click settings to worksheet it puts the settings in the yellow values here for me and now of course I can go back to the process and I can test whether these optimized values actually work or not I can do a confirmation test now that's how DOE Pro does the multiple response optimize and by the way I could do up to 30 responses using DOE Pro so it's a very powerful uh, technique although 30 responses probably the computer can't find a sweet spot for all 30 responses now in the example I've used it did find a sweet spot but there's a very important thing about what I asked the computer to achieve so let me just talk about the three targets so if you've got target A you've got target B and you've got target C now in the case of this little example less than was an acceptable result less than was okay so there was no bottom there was no bottom tolerance but let's say here you have an upper and you have a lower tolerance what's really important you mustn't say to the optimizer please hit target A target B target C please put them dead center the likelihood is the computer won't be able to do that and it often gives up if it can't hit two or three of the targets then any solution becomes okay to it and it doesn't really give you a, a reasonable response so what you need to do is you need to tell it you either tell it less than this one and greater than this one so you're putting two constraints in for each or what you would do is you would enable the CPK function so the CPK function look here's the window on the optimizer as I go into the optimizer look there is a CPK function I can switch the radio button on I can switch it off and if I enable the CPK you can tell it what CPK to try and optimize now what are you doing when you give it these options what you're doing is you're giving it the option to potentially come up with an answer that looks like this so in other words it can't hit the target with all three but what it can do is put all three inside the tolerance so it can give you a reasonable compromise if you ask it to be exactly please it exactly on A exactly on B and it's exactly on C there's going to be no compromise there but here look it has a compromise and therefore if you ask it to, to uh, use the CPK it will try and find the best compromise for the mean and the standard deviation or if you just say less than the upper greater than the lower less than the upper greater than the lower you give the computer some room to maneuver and that's what you have to do with the multiple responses now that's the DOE software doing that my advice to you if you have Minitab I do have Minitab but this is not my area of expertise I know that this is possible my advice to you is to call the help desk one of the great things about Minitab they have a superb help desk and so normally the people who work on the help desk are practical people they're used to using the software not just sitting on the end of a telephone and giving you theoretical ex answers and therefore if you call the Minitab help desk they will show you how to optimize multiple responses what effectively you would do with the data is unlike the software that I'm using DOE Pro when it's on three separate sheets you would put the data alongside one another on the same sheet and then you just have to tell Minitab 
where the three response data sets are sitting and it will happily generate three models and it will happily find a sweet spot for you as well. So I know Minitab can do this, I'm just not as, as familiar with it. So Sadiq, I hope that's a good answer to your, your question. Uh, thank you very much for your comments. To the rest of you, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a, please give it a positive tick because that helps the, the channel and promotes the videos for other people to see. If you've got any comments you, yourself, especially by the way, if you want to put a downward tick on my videos, don't just say you didn't like it, send me a comment. Tell me what it is you didn't like. Make an argument if something's going wrong. Let's improve our understanding of these subjects together because the more people discuss these things with me, design of experiments, for example, is a massive topic. There is some great techniques that I've never used myself. But if you wanna, if you wanna uh, talk about it, tell me in the comments field, that would be fantastic. So drop some comments if you've got any any negative things that you think we can improve, drop us a comment and we'll make a video. We'll talk about, we'll talk about your points and see if we can improve the subject. But uh, Sadiq, I hope that's a good video for you. Multiple response DOEs. By the way, multiple response DOEs. They are the fastest way to learn new knowledge. Every engineer should know DOE. It is the fastest way to learn new knowledge and make more money.